Let's take a look at G S R T B four worksheet two. This is all about what we call proportional parts. Previously, we established something called the side splitting theorem, or uh, the proportionality through uh, parallel lines. And uh, this is just basically the worksheet where we just solve a bunch of uh, uh, values using those theorems. Um, let me make a, a situation. Here are three parallel lines. Uh, let's just create a transversal that does this and a transversal that does this. And I'm just going to label these uh, locations so you and I can talk about them. We'll call this A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now what we learn in the side splitting theorem is that because these lines are parallel, they cut lines proportionally. And so there are many proportions that can be written here. And I like to do this in the class just to get a sense of it. Um, I like to create a proportion and see if students can match it. So uh, let's try. BC is to CD as, so here's BC, CD. Of course, our answer is EF would be to FG. This is to this as this is to this. Those pieces, while they're not equal, are cut proportionally. Let's try another one. Uh, let's do a little bit different. BD is to E, G as A, C is to. Now, this is a little trickier. Let's see if we can figure it out. B, D is this length, and it c corresponds to E, G. So A, C then corresponds to A, F. So we can compare across as well, uh, and not just on its side but they must follow a corresponding uh, nature to them and uh, keep the proportionality lined up. You could do something like this. Um, AC is to AD. Take a look here. We compare this piece to the full piece as, uh, let's see, AF is to AG. Let's make sure that looks good. AC is to AD as AF is to AG. Lots of ways to set these up, but uh, this always is the case, and it, I've mentioned this like in three different videos now because it just keeps coming up. One of the things that takes place is uh, we will then like talk about um, also maybe these lengths here. Notice they are not a part of the side splitting relationship. Side splitting is pieces. Um, B, E, C, F, and D, G are not pieces. So again, uh, if I was solving for these things, I would refer to full lengths of triangles. Let's see if I can show you a relationship that makes sense to you. So. AC is this length, a full side of that triangle. CF is the full side of that triangle. As AD is to, let's see if we can figure it out. AC is to CF, as AD is to DG. Um, and many other relationships exist here, but just be careful uh, and again use wisdom because the, the side splitting pieces are proportional across from each other, but not necessarily to, definitely not to these full length pieces of the uh, parallel lines. Let's take a look at some. Once we know things are par parallel, we get those proportional cuts. And so we can talk about a bunch of the different cutting and the, piece the pieces that are cut up and their proportions. This is always fun for me. I like to lay these out and to kind of uh, do a bunch of different proportions here. So let's just look at some. BY, BD. So this piece to the whole piece. So TM is to TE. Right? And I just follow the same pattern. BY, BD, TM, TE. Very simple. This says um, AY. <clears throat> let's see. AY. Where's AY? Oh, okay. This whole thing. AY. 
is to, we'll watch this, ay is to am as dy is to em. Let's see if that makes sense to you. A to, uh, a to y, this piece, relates to am, this piece, as dy, this piece, would relate to em, this piece. Try another one. TE, this little guy here, relates to BD, the one across from it, yes. As something on this side relates to AD on this side. So this must be EA. Take a look, see if that makes sense. TE relates to the one across from it, BD, as EA relates to the one across from it, AD. Sure, that makes sense. Um, I always like also these where I say, uh, set this up a bunch of different ways. So, again, proportional pieces, lots of students would just say 5 is to x as 6 is to 4.5. That'll get you your answer, 5x, 6 to 4.5. Some students will go 5 to 6. 5 to 6 is x to 4.5. That also gives you the same answer. Uh, you can get crazier if you wanted to. You could say 5 is to 5 plus x. 5 is to 5 plus x, as 6 is to 10.5. If you don't believe me, you can solve all three of those and you'll get the same answer. Uh, I'm just showing you there's lots of ways to do it. Okay? Here, I've got an x over here, so I don't know. x is to 4, I see that, as it looks like 1.2 is to 1. 1 1.2 is to 1, as x is to 4. Not a big, not hard at all. Now you got some options here as well. Let's start with, um, I don't know, let's start with 5 is 2, 9. You see it? 5 is 2, 9. As 6 is to 6 plus x. Did you see why I did 6 plus x? Watch. 5 is to the total 9. 6 is to the total 6 plus x. If you didn't like that, you could break down this to be a 4, because that's how much it has to be. And you could go 5 is to 4, as 6 is to x. Again, try them out. You'll find those are the same answers. This is just like the boys and the girls problems, where we were sometimes talking about boys to girls, and sometimes we were talking about boys to totals. It's the exact same kind of problem solving. Um, <clears throat> here... Notice now, this is the classic problem. I don't know how many times I can say this, but notice that the 7 and the 14 are pieces, and they would relate to the pieces across from them. The 5 and the x are not pieces. They are not pieces. They are whole sides. So you can't go 7 to 14. I'm just going to write it down, and I'm going to just say, No! Don't, 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 don't tell me 7 is to 14, 5 is to x. What you could tell me if you want, 7 is to 21 as 5 is to x. Now you're doing a full side in this triangle. 5 is a full side in that same triangle. 21 is a full side in this triangle. x is a full side. That is how you do this problem. Same thing here. I can't get enough of these because they're just so common. 8. Don't, don't do this. 8 is to 6. 6 is to x. Please, please, please don't ever do that to me. 8 is to 14 as 6 is to x. 8 is a full side. 6 here is a full side. 14 is a full side. x is a full side. Now, the final little theorem that you learned is called the angle bisector theorem. It's kind of a cool little guy. It says the ratio of the two sides is the same ratio as the pieces that are cut by that angle bisector. Very cool little basic little idea. It's actually a fairly useless item. Uh, it doesn't get used for anything very important, but it exists, and it's kind of uh, interesting that it's set up. 6 is to 10, 4.5 is to x, and we'll solve